सो हाइड्रेट स्कॉर्पियो वेरी वेरी गुड इवनिंग टू यू गाइज दिस इज अंजलि चैरो एंड दिस इज अ जर्नल एनर्जी चेक इन फॉर ऑल द स्कॉर्पियो सन मीन सन मून मीन राइजिंग फॉर द मंथ ऑफ मार्च ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी फोर आई वॉन्ट टू टैप इन टू रिसेंट पास करंट एनर्जीज एंड नियर फ्यूचर एंड वी विल सी द गाइडेंस फॉर यू गाइज एज यूजल आई विल स्टार्ट विद द ओवरऑल एनर्जी फॉर दिस पर्टिकुलर मंथ इट्स नॉट अ लव रीडिंग और करियर रीडिंग और एनीथिंग स्पेसिफिक बट वट एवर मैसेजेस विल कम आई विल जस्ट लेट यू गाइज नो If you want to be a professional tarot card reader like me, you can start your journey by purchasing my course. The link is in the description box for the same. It's in simple, plain English language with lifetime access and certification. If you want to start your self-love journey but don't know from where to start, you can definitely start by purchasing my ebook and workbook. Again, it's super easy to understand, loaded with a lot of information, and it's super affordable too. So let's start, Scorpio. Overall energy for Scorpio people for this particular month is. Ace of Pentacles, creating something solid, creating some kind of solid base for your business or job or your career, financial independence, financial prosperity, financial abundance is going to be the overall focus area for most of the Scorpio for this particular month. For some of you, if abundance and prosperity is not an issue, you will be in this energy of gaining your independence and gaining your strength to be uh, with yourself as much as you can. Okay, even if you are in a committed relationship, doesn't matter. From time to time, we need time to recharge. Let's see in the recent past what was happening, Scorpio. Eight of Swords. You were continuously overthinking about a particular situation in your life, and the more you were trying to get out of that mental jail, the more you were getting yourself into that uh, jail again. Okay. We will clarify these cards one by one. Now, in the current scenario, turn of sword, something is ending, and you might be thinking that this is the end of the world, and and, and the situation is never going to work out in your favor, or you will never be able to find this kind of situation or relationship or something that is ending again. So we will see this again by the end of this month. I do see massive success, a lot of success and victory and happiness. Okay, let's see. So it's just a phase. It's a temporary phase. Let's clarify the recent past. Eight of swords in the recent past for you guys, Scorpio. we have the high priestess the queen of cups and the four of wands you were keeping your mouth shut regarding a relationship might be long term partnership stability commitment or something related to marriage you were keeping your mouth shut about something that you, that was really really close to your heart and you were keeping your mouth shut or you you were keeping this as a secret because you felt like even if you are going to say or do something about it it's not going to work out you're continuous overthinking about the situation your continuous mental jail your continuous uh, negativity about that particular situation make you feel like okay i should not be doing anything about it because even if i'm going to do anything about it it's not going to work out it's kind of uh, a situation that's actually not meant for me so you you throw your towel uh, be before even trying or you throw your towel you threw your towel in the air you were like because you were like okay no nope, it's not happening but you can't stop thinking you were not able to stop thinking about that particular situation okay whether it was related to a business opportunity that was very close to your heart and you felt like i should talk to a partner i should talk to someone about it or it was a marriage relationship kind of energy or it was something related to your stability in some way shape or form but you didn't do anything about it or you were continuously overthinking and that's why you missed it the you missed the opportunity might be now in the current scenario the 10 of swords something is ending let's clarify the 10 of swords 10 of swords is a brutal kind of ending like Okay, let's see. Let's clarify the ten of swords. We have the page of cups and the nine of pentacles and the ten of cups. So after a breakup or separation, or after realizing that something was not. something that you were continuously overthinking about was not actually there at the first place i think uh, some kind of illusion is going to break or breaking here and you are leading to this energy of self love self care and connecting with more connecting with people who are like family to you or who are uh, who can create a family kind of dynamic with you it's not heading towards marriage or commitment for some of you it might be but for most of you you are gaining a sense of independence over a situation that you felt like well, that you felt like was very close to you and you can't live without it or that situation that particular person or relationship was very very important to you now you are gaining this strength and understanding that you can live without this particular situation and you can actually 
be independent and actually be happy in your life so you are transmuting your pain into this energy of going towards things or people or situations that can actually that can actually make you happy apart from that situation that you were stuck on so it could be family it could be friends it could be like uh, friends like who, friends who are like family to you but you are redirecting your pain towards people or situations that's actually in love with you that actually cares for you and gaining the strength of independence along with that by the end of this month, we have the Six of Wands, some kind of success, victory. Let's clarify the Six of Wands. Okay. Something is going to be revealed to you that is going to actually help you in moving forward towards your goal more and more uh, aggressively. Aggressively in the sense not in a bad way aggressively, uh, actively you can say. So you will be able to understand some kind of truth. You will be able to get a sense of truth about a particular situation or a relationship or a connection whatever you were stuck on or still stuck on and you are going to get the empowerment that I knew it. I knew about this from a very long time. Now when it is on the surface, now when it's front of me, now I'm free. Now I'm going to work on my success, my victory, my growth and expansion like crazy because I know what I want and I, I know what I have to create. So might be you were relying on someone to create some kind of business opportunity or for work or for some kind of interview or something and you got to know that it is not happening and you gain the sense of independence by the end of this month when you will be uh, working on yourself independently something is going to be revealed to you about that particular situation that you were continuously overthinking about and you're going to gain the hundred percent like total freedom from that particular situation and you are going to get this energy of okay now i have to focus on one thing only that is my growth my expansion my happiness my everything my world my empire yeah so you are going to be focusing on your empire and you're going to get massive success because you are going to be so much focused on that particular energy with a lot of passion with a lot of uh, uh, aggressiveness again aggressiveness is uh, not in a, a bad way right so thank you so much for tuning okay we let okay the guidance is left so let's see the guidance for you guys for this particular month scorpio let's see yes see you are on the right track and you are uh, doing the right thing but because you're doing the right thing and because you are feeling for the first time in your life might be you are feeling the sense of independence over people and situations and things you are scared of the unknown you are scared of falling uh, uh, again in some kind of rut in some kind of uh, rabbit hole that you will never be able to come out of you are very scared of uh, going out of your comfort zone and doing things that actually is good for you so you're going back and forth, back and forth. Am I on the right track? Am I doing the right thing? Should I, should I not be doing this? Or should I change my path? Or should I just uh, stick around with the situation that I am like uh, dying in? So what should I do? So from time to time, fear is going to pop up and you are going to uh, <clears throat> doubt your own abilities of doing the right thing. But trust me, you are on the right track. You are doing the right thing and you are going to get uh, attain massive success and massive uh, prosperity and abundance in the coming future if you are not going to stop and if you're going according to the reading if you, your energies are going to be according to the reading and you're going to take the inspired actions nobody can stop you you are unstoppable for the, in this particular month Scorpio you are unstoppable believe me believe yourself so thank you so much for tuning in uh, uh, Scorpio I'll see you soon in the next video bye bye take care God bless you namaste